Hi, I'm Kevin Raber, and uh, thanks for stopping by the Loomis Landscape. And today I want to share with you uh, a new tripod. It's um, one that seems to be fairly popular and a lot of talk uh, about out on the internet. And it solves a problem that uh, I've been trying to solve for uh, quite a long time. I do a lot of travel, uh, extended travel, and sometimes just uh, short trips. And I always like to be uh, able to go out and take pictures. However, I have a very large tripod, both really right stuff and Gitzo, which I usually put in my duffel bag, but when I'm not traveling with a big duffel, and I'm um, say go to New York for one night, two nights, and I have a, a much smaller bag, I have a problem where I can't take my tripod. And so I've been looking for a solution, and I've now found one, and what I've settled on is the three-legged thingy. Yes, that's right, you heard it correct, a three-legged thingy. It's uh, made in the great country of Great Britain, and it comes in a nice case like this. Um, and it sits in uh, carry-on baggage very nicely, although there's a lot of space in here. Uh, if I don't need to think about carrying a bag, I would just keep it out of the case. But uh, I can stuff underwear and socks and other things in the bag. But the bag does have a nice carrying thing, so I can easily sling it over my shoulder, and I can go out for an evening, uh, show up in Times Square, set my tripod up, hopefully the police won't come after me, and take some great night exposures. Let me show you what this tripod's all about. Unzip the top, comes into a nice case. There's storage on the top here for accessories, uh, camera plates, and so forth. And you basically pull the tripod out, and the tripod comes in a nice compact little uh, system like this. It's very light, by the way, and I believe uh, it's, it's really standing up very nicely to be very sturdy. So essentially to open it up, we're going to just flip the legs up like this. There's a thumb latch here, so we push this in on all three legs, and what that does is locks the legs in so that they, they lock in. Frankly, I don't like the extended uh, um, arm, although it's there if you need it. And I lock that in by a twist of the collar. You can put any ball head you want on here. I'm using the uh, AH2 ball head that comes uh, with the tripod, or you can buy it separately without. But it works very nicely. It allows you to do just about everything you could want with a tripod. Uh, ball head twist and it's very very light and it's an Arca Swiss uh, mount so it's very easy for me just to clamp my camera on here and tighten it down and I'm ready to go. It also has a very clever monopod so there's one leg that is uh, covered and you can unscrew this unscrew the ball head and you're ready to go with a monopod if that's all you need say you're doing some videos on uh, the outside. Uh, it also extends to a very large size. So let's take a look at the extension here. Take one leg out. Uh, it's not unlike any other tripod in the sense of unscrewing and tightening. Uh, it's got five section leg. But it very, is very easy to, to set up and use. Uh, recently we were in Oregon and I had this as a backup tripod and one of our friends was on the trip and uh, he didn't have a tripod so I lent him this and he put a Canon 5D system on there and it worked just fine for him. Um, for the most part what I've put on here so far are the Olympus, the Fuji, and the Sony and I've had no problems whatever. Uh, my normal shooting procedure when I'm on a tripod just like everybody else is probably to use a cable release but I kind of just put a timer out there and do a self-timer. So with it fully extended, you can see I get a fairly good reach. If I want to risk it, I can take the center post and raise it up and work with that. And it's pretty sturdy and it's really light. So uh, it's not and it's not something I would highly recommend place, replacing my uh, Gitzos and my really right stuff tripods. But for a travel tripod, it's quite nice. They have their own camera plate, which is cool. So if you have, don't have an L bracket built in, you can just use the camera plate and it clicks right in. Has like little rubber uh, grommet stops on it. 
and just tighten it down and you're all set to go. This uh, tripod uh, is the X2. It runs about $500. So you can get it from B&H or a number of other different sources. There are also a number of other three-legged thingy tripods available. So you can take a look and kind of pick the one that works best for you. I've settled on the X2. It hasn't let me down over the last few months that I've had it. And uh, I've now found a travel tripod that I can use and work with and uh, I'm quite happy with it. So thanks for coming by and I'll see you on the Luminous Landscape.